hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be showing you how to make this pan seared tilapia in creamy mushroom sauce guys this one is delicious so you really have to try it and while you're watching this video don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so the first thing you're gonna need to make this dish would be some onions, garlic, some jalapeno peppers, you'll need your mushrooms, of course, I love mushrooms, some Parmesan cheese, you need your heavy cream, some parsley, and of course, you'll be needing your tilapia fillets. Actually, you can use any other kind of fish, but I love me my tilapia, okay? So I'm gonna be seasoning with some salt, some pepper, and some Old Bay seasoning. Today, I decided to go with Old Bay seasoning because I just like it, and I just wanna keep things simple, but it is your fish, guys. You can use whatever kind of seasoning you wanna use. You can add some garlic powder to it if you wish, but I'm keeping the seasoning on the fish simple because all the flavor is gonna come from the sauce. So once I have my seasoning on this side of the fish, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and season the other side. And I also decided to add some paprika for some extra, you know, spicy kick. <laughs> so once my fish is properly seasoned the way I like it, I'm gonna head on over to the stove and we are going to start cooking this bad babies up. With some oil in my pan, I'm gonna be searing my fish for about two minutes on each side. My fillets are really thin, so I'm gonna be very careful not to overcook it. So I'll flip it over as much as I want, just to make sure I get as much color as possible on every side of the fish. But guys, be careful. Do not allow your fillets to get overcooked. If not, it's gonna end up being rubbery and you're not gonna like it as much as you would. So two minutes on each side is perfect. So once my fillets are properly cooked I'm gonna take them off and let them rest on a platter while I make my sauce so I'm adding some extra butter to the pan and I'm going to be using that to saute my mushrooms I'm going to saute these mushrooms for about three to four minutes or until my mushrooms are soft and fragrant and I'll make sure to season with some salt and some black pepper guys you know I say in all my videos layer your flavors okay so now I'm adding my grated onions, my garlic, and my jalapenos, and I'm gonna be cooking this for about uh, a minute or two just to cook out the raw flavor of the onions and the garlic. And once that is done, I decided to add some cherry tomatoes just for some color, and I've added my heavy cream. I'm gonna let this simmer for about three minutes on medium to low heat, okay? So once that is done, I of course, I'm seasoning with my black pepper and some extra salt just to make sure the seasoning is just the way I like it. So taste as you go and make sure the salt level is good. I decided to add some dry chives because I like it and in goes my Parmesan cheese. So I'm gonna give this a really good stir until my cheese is melted and the entire sauce is perfectly combined into one delicious sauce. <laughs> so guys, I'm telling you, this sauce is literally done right now. It is done, I told you, it takes less than 30 minutes. So now I'm gonna go ahead and garnish with some parsley and I'm gonna add my fish back into the pan to begin to soak up all that delicious creaminess. So now I'm gonna finish this up with the juice of half a lemon just to add some freshness back into the sauce and now it's time to eat. I'm telling you, this is done. So you can serve this over rice or eat it any way you want. It's still gonna taste so good. Anyway, thank you for watching guys. Please leave comments in the comment section down below and let me know what you think. Like this video, share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. I love you all. See you guys in the next video. Bye.